All right, let's see if I can do this faster than the last one I did. So this is uh, uh, The Shoe Project, uh, episode seven, or video seven, whatever you want to call it. But this folder is uh, what I call standouts. These were, out of all the images that I collected, these were ones that stood out. Um, obviously, this, this shoe, 13, what I kind of based everything around. I like the top, the top view. You kind of see the balance of the shoe, you know, where I, you know, you got a, a heel with corners, so that way you can plant, and then you have some good pivoting protection on the outside of the shoe, and then if for whatever reason you need, you know, the ball of your foot to have some sort of stability. I don't ever, I can't think of anything other than, than maybe pivoting, because sometimes you do pivot off the inside of your toes. So anyway, that's the top view of the shoe. There's like a bunch of images here, so I'm gonna try and go fast. Another top view. This was the back. This was important. Uh, in another video, I referenced this, but you know, I looked at the way the shoe was built at the 13th, and how you know, you know, you notice there's all curves. That's the first thing I noticed is all curves, because uh, nothing on the the black cat has a sharp angle. Um, but I like the pattern and everything here. These stood. I had never seen these before. Uh, all red with the white, just the awesome color scheme. Something I noticed before, too, is when you go back and look at the Nike Air Barrage, it has almost this exact same kind of treatment on the sole shoe. I wouldn't be surprised if the same designer worked on the, two, the same shoes. Uh, the cool colorway, you know, just kind of showing the contrast of the foot, the sole uh, padding. This is why that shoe is so cool looking to me. You know, it's... The way that it's designed, you can do the colorway so many different ways. It'll have really cool impact, uh, like here and then here, you know. Um, anyway, this week, these were cool. Black, red, and the green colorways. I thought that was these are pretty neat. Cool way to, or, you know, a good way to see what it might look like if you wanted to try and do, like, three different colors. A um, bunch of different colorways. This was awesome. You know, that, that Adidas running shoe. They had this like bait camo action going on these man look at these these are probably some of my favorite shoes i've seen so far because as you've heard me talking so far you know you got the protection of the toes nothing on top though to keep that nice sharp look but then you got a strap going over the top uh, i just really like the this overall look when you squint your eyes pretty cool looking all black 13 um the two-tone shoe we're talking about all the time with the toe like the iversons or the jo jo you know the jordans these are cool. Look at that. Uh, no real brand or anything on it. Um, but it's still pretty neat. I thought the shoe was pretty slick. I like that. Not much to say. Slick ass Adidas. Not much to say other than I like the, the shape and the treatment. Squint your eyes. Pretty cool layout. Some cool shoes. Asics. These are neat. You get to see how the leather is kind of prepared. You see sewed up in the back but if you cut this you can spread this out and you see you have almost like a tr like a three pieces you got one a center piece and another piece is a unicut like a unibody piece this is important you just end up with one piece that you cut and then they punch the holes in it it's pretty nice it's like a stan smith adidas type of shoe anyway these man, again some of my favorite you see something similar going on here you got the strap you got the nice rubber you got the toes that not only on the outside, but over the top of the toe. I don't know about this, this pointed part. Um, and then here you see that the shoe kind of folds weird, you know, because the way it's put. Well, it's still a cool shoe, though. <laughs> Man, you can barely see this shoe. Um, I thought it was cool looking. Nice colorway treatment of the Jordan. Uh, 13, man, you cannot beat 13 of those. Nice. Look at that dope colorway. And the negative space. Pfft. I mean, I don't know if I wear that, but again, cool colorway. All red with the black. They even did a little fade up here. I, I wouldn't have. Anyway, it's, this, this video can go on. If you go to the website and check out, I put up all the pictures up there if you want to look at them in detail, and I try and keep credit to who. But these were the, these were like the standouts where they were just visually appealing to me and I might not necessarily try and, you know, replicate it, but you can see why I started going with the 13. You know, it's like, what, what shoe do you want to keep replicating, an 11 or a 13? You know, I just go right to the 13. The, out of all the cool pictures I see, the 13s always are the most impressive to me. So it'd be cool to see the 13th, 
the 13th, the 13th with a, you know, a slightly different treatment. So that's the whole point of this remix. Some cool, cool colorways. Again, all up on the website. So you can check those out. But uh, these were standouts to me. Oh, man, look at those. That's what start almost started all, really. The, what I like to call the killer whales. I know the shoe is based on the, the Black Panther, but these look like killer whales to me. I always liked these pads. I, I call them pads. They're like elephant pads, but foot pads, cat pads, cat paws, whatever. Man, amazing colorway. See these? I don't know, man. See, they have the 11s sole, which is a dope sole. But the treatment of this top, like, I don't like that, man. It, uh, I don't know. I mean, it's not bad, but I just don't like it. Ah, uh, you hear, and then here you got the whole treatment. You know, what kind of pants would you be wearing? So then you can see the effect of the whole the shoe with the rest. Because, you know, these shoes, if they don't make sense with the rest of the outfit, then the shoe, you know, it kills the shoe. To me, in my opinion. Man, look at these, the 23s. All oh, red. Dang. Uh, and then I, I found this profile. This girl, she, this is her gig, paint stuff. Footwear color designer for the Jordan brand. That's the big gig. Pretty cool. Look at these LED treatments, sick. And then these were the Black Panther shoes. Those are stand out. Uh, another picture of that 13 with the, what I like to call the Tribe Called Quest color scheme, the red, green, and the black. And then these are similar to the Balenciaga. I just recently found these. Uh, but, you know, you see what they're doing. They just knit up a sock and then glue it into a rubber sole. Man, this is like a, it's, they got to do more. This is like the um, water sock at Walmart, dude. Like, gosh, that's why I got kind of, and then look at these, dude. This is, I don't know, these are these are wild. But they have uh, the descriptive elements. You know, it's got, it looks like a robot mech foot. It's got the strap over the top, like the Ewing's like I like. Uh, it's got the pads for the shoes, like the Jordan, you know, the 13, or the, the uh, Nike Barrages. Um, it's got that sock. It's just when you describe it, it has everything. But then when you look at it, I don't know if it's just the silver that's throwing me off. But, and then these, uh, I think I saw somebody wearing something like these the other day. Yeah, she was a girl. Uh, I just saw this part. No, you know what? She had like the Barclays, uh, and it has this at the front of the shoe it kind of has this kind of thing going on i don't know so these shoes look too this part i don't like it looks too much like toothpaste or mustard on a hot dog or something but the elements of the 13 are there if you look closely you got the heel you got the three see i should i should just pull up another a 13 so you can see it don't let the shoelaces confuse you and then even better they have the toe treatment see that's why i stole the seat they kind of have the ninja shoe toe treatment they just mess it up with all this weird this weirdness here the curves i don't like the curves uh this looks like a a shoe that nintendo would make or something like that now no that not that that's a bad thing it just looks like you set this on top of the nes console it looks like they match i don't know if i like that I, but the idea see the inside toe it's good to see this though because maybe if i try and incorporate this into my shoe it might not look right like this here but i also won't have a tube these tubes are throwing things off that are further emphasizing this tube Thing right here but you see the elements of the jordan 13 the paw print you know the pieces they just kind of redid it that this texture is pretty neat anyway enough about that that's these were the stand oh here we go oh man i almost didn't even get to these I almost kill man i am slipping i should have just went straight to that man hold up let's back a look at that 13 camels come on boy those are just, i might have to try and make some of those for real all right so let's get back to these Look at that. Same thing. Same thing as the shoe before, right? You describe it. I want the toe protected. I want a heel that's kind of like the 13. Look at these. I mean, that does look like a robot foot, but you see what they're doing. They're going with that sock thing. At least they kind of have a heel kind of going on here. You see the inner heel structure. You see this structure uh, that seems to help buff up the sock so it's not just a sock. And then you have the rubber sole, which is very interesting. i never seen a rubber sole like that, but... And then, uh, let me see. You see they uh, did the toe treatment. See, man, I don't know about that. Like, I like this idea, and I have it into my shoe. But, dude, I don't want it to come out looking like this. But it is nice to protect because I don't know about y'all, but when I kick stuff outside, when I'm kicking things and trying to move them, I always kick with the big toe. I'm never kicking with the outside of my foot. So this is actually dope. 
Um, I just don't know if I visually like the treatment here. Um, and these shoes, again, they there's no kind of strapping system, so these look like I can come out of them. Now, you do see this part that goes over it, so this does look like it offers some protection. I just don't know what it's doing for strapping down uh, onto the foot, but this is... This is almost there, man. It's just too square. This looks like an old car. I want a new car. A new mech. This looks like an old mech. <laughs> this is what this looks like. The boxiness. But it's close. If they could take this part and make it... Anyway, yeah. it's. I, I liked what they did. See, the big toe it almost stands on, on its own. It's almost like this part should be its own color. Anyway, that this shoe gave me a lot of inspiration. I was like, man, I kind of like this. But imagine being able to lace this up. Okay, maybe a slightly different color scheme. And then you don't, what you don't get to see too well is that, well, I guess you do, the outer treatment of this. It's very plain. See, one, two, three. There's no, it doesn't look aggressive. It doesn't look like it's fast. Uh, and maybe that wasn't intended, but uh, I did take note of that. Anyway, these are the standouts. We'll see. That set me up for episode eight. Stay tuned.